Hi there, this is Ranjit from TechToBuzz.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a Hackintosh. Actually I got a lot of comments regarding this. First, uh, let me talk a little bit about Hackintosh. So what is a Hackintosh? Hackintosh is nothing but an uh, Apple based computer that can run the Mac OS X on a typical PC hardware. So as you might be expecting, this is not straightforward to do because the Apple um, uh, operating system, that's uh, OS X, doesn't allow that. We need special tools, something like a bootloader. I use the uh, technique used by Tony Mac OS X uh, 86.com. You can see the link over here. I'll be using the iBoot and the Multi Beast. So before uh, getting into this Hackintosh adventure, I want to caution a little bit. I want to make it very clear that there is no guarantee that if you are trying to make this Hackintosh, it will work perfectly or not. Uh, you can actually make a pretty good Hackintosh. It basically depends upon the kinds of components that are in your PC. Also, I would like uh, that you do not try to make a Hackintosh with your primary computer. If you have a spare computer lying around, go ahead and try it. And if you are going to use your primary computer, I would suggest buy a new hard drive and use that new hard drive to install the Mac OS X. Also, I am assuming that you are a little bit tech savvy before attempting to make this Hackintosh because you need to change some BIOS settings and you should be able to do a little bit of troubleshooting yourself. The first thing that we need to figure out is the type of computer that you have that will allow us to make a Hackintosh. Uh, basically, you need an Intel processor, uh, basically uh, even a Core uh, Duo processor or a Core 2 Duo or the latest uh, i3, i5 or the i7 processors will do. Sadly, AMD processors do not work with the procedure uh, that I'm going to explain right now. Also, you need to make sure that your hard drive and the CD or DVD ROM uh, use the SATA connector like this. They do not uh, make sure you. They are not the IDE type. IDE is a little bit fat cable. If it's an IDE, IDE thing, you'll land into problems. Also, the keyboard and the mouse should be USB. Also, make sure that your motherboard supports the AHCI mode. If your motherboard does not support the AHCI mode, uh, sadly, you cannot make the Hackintosh. Also, before attempting to make this Hackintosh, I would suggest that remove any uh, additional uh, peripherals or devices that are attached to your motherboard. For example, any extra sound card, uh, anything like that, just remove them. Also, uh, attach just one hard drive and make sure that you do not have any data on this hard drive because we need to format it. Also, make sure the, the RAM what you have is limited to 4 GB. Also, I think so there's a limitation on the hard drive uh, the, lim uh, the highest hard drive that you can connect right now is around 1 terabyte. I'm not very sure about it, but I think so it's 1 terabyte. So basically, I'm going to now show you what the things that you need to first download uh, to make this Hackintosh. The first thing you need to download is the iBoot and the MultiBeast. With iBoot, you need to burn it on a DVD or a CD-ROM. We are going to boot our system with this and uh, we need the multi beast after installing the mac os x to make our system bootable the other thing we need to download is the mac os x 10.6.8 combo update let me make clear at this point we are going to install snow leopard not lion at this point also make sure that uh, your cd rom is set to the first boot uh, preference and Make sure your motherboard is set to AHCI mode. Before we proceed, we now need to download the iBoot and Multidesk from TonyMacX86.com. Just go to this site and from this resource menu, we need to click on the iBoot plus MultiBeast. Using iBoot, we can boot our system and after that we install Snow Leopard. You can download iBoot, just scroll down here and here you have the link for downloading the iBoot. Click on it. You might need to register with the forums to enable this menu. And here we have two options, the iBoot and the iBoot Legacy. Uh, use the iBoot if you have a new processor like a Sandy Bridge or a Core i processor. I had to use the iBoot Legacy uh, on my Core 2 Duo system. Uh, so try uh, the iBoot, regular iBoot, if your system crashes while booting it you might need to go back to the iBoot legacy and download MultiBeast. Also download the Mac OS X combo update. 
and now I have already made the iBoot disk and I also have multi beast and my slow leopard disk with me. So now we're going to install Snow Leopard on this computer. Now what I have done is inserted the iBoot and the system is booting from the iBoot disk. And now the system has booted with the iBoot disk. Now what we do is remove the iBoot disk from our DVD or the CD-ROM drive and insert the Snow Leopard retail disk, retail installation disk. And once it's inserted, you need to press the F5 button on the keyboard. As you can see, we need to select this, use the arrow to select it and press enter. It will take a while and as you can see, the system will start booting into the Macintosh installer. After a few minutes, you should see a screen like this. Use your mouse and select the language. I have selected English. Again, it will take a while. And you get to the screen. Here, we need to select the utilities. And here, go to this option known as Disk Utility. It takes a while to detect your disks. And here you can see all your disks. This is your hard drive. Select the hard drive. For example, my hard drive is 80 GB. If your is a 500 GB or a 1 terabyte drive, it will show here. And in here, we are going to format this hard drive. The first thing we'll do is go to the partition option. And here, from the drop down menu, I'm going to select one partition. And in the name, give this partition a name. Let's call it Snow Leopard. And the other important thing is that go to this option tab and make sure the partition is GUID. This is very important. If you omit this step, your system won't be bootable. Press OK and click the apply button and it should format the drive. It gives you a warning. Hit the partition option. And the disk utility is now formatting the drive. Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention in the format option, select it as Mac OS X journaled. It takes a minute or two to format it. And it is formatted now. Now we can close the disk utility, go to disk utility and quit. And we again get the install Mac OS X screen. Here we hit the continue button. We agree to the terms. And here we're going to select the partition that we have made. Remember we named it as Snow Leopard. So we're going to select it. To save some time from the installation, you can hit this customize button and remove all these options. This will quicken the install. Uh, time and press OK and now you can click the install and this is going to install Mac OS X it's going to take approximately anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes for it to install after about 20-25 minutes you should get a screen like this saying that install has succeeded now what you do is remove the Snow Leopard installation disk and insert back the iBoot disk and restart your computer. We need to boot the computer again with our iBoot disk. Now again the system is booting. We have put back the iBoot disk and it's again going to boot with the iBoot disk. And now what we see here is the Snow Leopard installation that we have done. Just use the right arrow and select the Snow Leopard uh, installation and press enter. And you were at this screen. And after selecting the Snow Leopard installation and pressing enter, uh, Snow Leopard should complete the installation and you should get a welcome video like this, something like this. But sometimes after hitting enter uh, to the Snow Leopard option, the system uh, basically kernel panics and crashes. This is normally due to uh, the graphic card. Don't panic. What you need to do is before hitting enter to the Snow Leopard, select the Snow Leopard installation and enter this command. PCI root UID is equal to 1. Please note the case sensitivity. It is case sensitive. And that, then press enter. 
uh, that should uh, hopefully solve the problem and if you're still getting uh, errors i would suggest that uh, go to the tony mac x86 website there is a forum and very active forum uh, register there and you'll get a lot of help uh, let's say uh, you get the welcome window and you're able to uh, set up uh, snow leopard the first thing you need to do is uh, you must have downloaded the multi beast just launch it don't do anything just launch it and keep it and then run the mac uh, uh, mac os x 10.6.8 combo update that uh, i had mentioned before after the combo update has been done do not reboot the system we'll say to reboot the system do not reboot it and then open the multi beast again as shown here and here select the options if you're using a core core 2 or a core i system you can just select the easy beast option i suggest that you go to this web page and read all the options and after selecting the appropriate options uh, and when multibus beast has completed it'll take a minute or two to complete the installation you can reboot to your system and remove the iboot disk and if everything is uh, installed properly your system should boot properly from your hard drive congratulations you have a working uh, hackintosh now even after booting some things like audio or your network might not be working to do that run multi beast again and under drivers and bootloaders go to the audio section and select the proper driver based upon your motherboard's chipset do the same for the network to enable the ethernet i hope this video was helpful if it was helpful i'll appreciate if you cl uh, click on the like button given below you can also subscribe to my channel for free that way you'll be updated whenever i add a new video that's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2buzz.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.